everyone how you do a quick demonstration on setting up and using the grid. But I go to InDesign because I would think that you were we were, were we want to set up our presentations using InDesign. I would anyways. So what what I would do right now is I would set up my page. I'm going to go to File New, and in this new new um, new document dialog box, we have our default size of eight and a half by eleven. I want to design this in using a golden ratio. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go eight inches on the on the on the um, the eight, eight inches on the width and then height within the golden ratio, that's going to be eight times 1.618, which is, comes out to 12.9, something like that. So I'm just going to go to 13. Let's just put 13 in there. And this is going to give us a harmonious page size based on golden ratio. So um, what I want to do is I don't want 13 inches height. I want 13 inches. I want this to be horizontal um, orientation. So let's go ahead. 13 width, eight, eight inches high. And I'm not saying you have to use this page size, guys. I'm saying that this is a golden ratio, uh, close to it, very, very close to it. So um, you can use whatever page sizes you would like for your presentations. Let's go ahead and click OK on that. And I can see I've got one page here. So what I need to do is go back into my file uh, document setup and make sure that I've got, let's go 16 pages on that. And we're going to go facing pages since this is a booklet. So let's say, okay, now I've got my pages set up and we can see we've got um, my 16 pages here and there would be the front cover and the back cover. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go into my master pages and set the grid up. So I double click on my master pages and you can see that the master pages will be set to all of these pages. So I can set my grid right into master pages. Let's pull the master pages over and I want to back out just a little bit so you can see what's going on here. All right, so within this spread, what I'm going to move that out of the way. What I'm going to do within this spread is I'm going to set my grid up. How do you do that? It's really, really easy, guys. I'm going to go to um, Layout, and this is the, um, uh, the menu across the top, which you can't see because my screen is cutting it off, but right, right across in InDesign, across the top of the screen. You go to the Layout menu and come down to Create Guides. You get this wonderful dialog box, and this is magic, pure magic. Okay, so number of rows and number of columns, that's all you have to do. Let's go six by six. So there's two, look at the rows, they pop right in there. There's my six, and I'm gonna come down to 0.125 on my gutter size, because I think that that one, uh, 0.1667 is too wide. All right, now watch, I'll come over to my rows, or I'm sorry, my columns, and do the same thing. Let's go six. Okay, and there's six rows, six columns per page. I want you to notice something. If you're gonna design to bleed, you can um, uh, set your margins to the page. I'm sorry, you set your guides to the page. Okay, if you want to use a margin consistently, set your guides to the margin. That way you can see each one of these modules is now equal and spaced equally within the margin. Here on the page, they're set within the page. So you can bleed off the page and ensure harmony there as well. Okay, let's, um, let me do a quick demonstration here. And I'm gonna leave these just like this. And you can see, as you can see, I'm gonna say, okay, and that's set to page. So let me come over here and I want to show you that these are my, uh, was set up on my master page. Each page is set up on a master. So now I can go to any individual page and my grid will be visible. So I can, my grid is now visible consistently on each page within the layout. I want to go back to my pages because I want to check something. Okay, so, okay, so yes, I am on my pages. Okay, let me move that out of the way. Hang on one sec. Okay, now I'm set up. Now I can start using these modules to create my uh, headlines, my type, my, my text boxes, and my image boxes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, let me show you a quick, quick demonstration here. Now I'm not going to really spend a whole lot of time on this. I just want to show you quickly how I can do this. This right here, these intersections are your friend. Okay, those intersections right there, specifically this portion right here of the intersection is where everything should start on your page because you're utilizing the gutter and the, the spaces between. Okay, so right here, I'm going to go to my text tool and let's just back down a little bit here. And let's say I want to put, put my headline right in there. Now, you as long as you start, you don't have to go to you know, you don't have to intersect in every single placement. So in other words, these don't have to go. As long as they're harmoniously set up, you can you can set these up any size you want. Okay, so there's my text box. I'm just going to come across that menu on the top, and I'm going to say fill with placeholder text. 
I'm going to select all of that and I'm going to give it a headline size, let's say 24. Okay, so there would be my headline. All right, now in this particular case, my headline would be, remember in our, our research stage, it would be things like in, in, um, uh, transportation infrastructure and local culture and arts and um, um, uh, geographic location, things like that. All right, and then you could just come right over here and start setting up your type. So you can align your type, you can, you can set up your type um, offset from the alignment of the type. As long as it's within one of these grids, it's going to ensure mathematic harmony. All right, let me show you what I mean, just for example. Let me go, and now let's say I'm going to set my type up, my descriptions right here for each of those uh, different categories. So I'm going to go to type, and I'm going to fill that with my placeholder text. Okay, and then I can start placing images. All right, and I'll just use this for my image placement. Okay, so there would be one image. You could bleed that image. Okay, and then you could do the same using the grid for, for your images. This image could even span two columns. Okay, and then so that page would be mathematically and, 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 and harmonious, mathematically correct and harmonious. Now at this point, what you can do is you can set up your subsequent pages using the same formula that you've done here. So in other words, you could set your, your type up, the same headline, the same placement of the text. Okay, and then you could you could vary the images. For instance, you could come over here and bleed this one. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Come over here and take this one and bleed it off the side of the page. Make that a, a, three, a, a three column. And then come with a two column. Okay, so and then I'm just going to come to my preview and you can see all right, so these pages, now anything here you, that you want to do as well, as long as it's done within the grid, you can go ahead and do it. So for example, you could also add an image right up here. Preview, okay, so and as you can see, whoops, that didn't take the grid, but it should have, so there. Uh, all right, so so now you can see that, oh, that your, your headlines are going to be at the same spot on every page. Your type is going to be located at the same spot, and then you can vary your images, and they will be, again, mathematically harmonious. Okay, so again, that's just a quick setup on the grid, how to use a grid, experiment with it. What this is going to prevent is you, is this. Okay, we have our type. It's going to prevent this, and this is the worst thing a designer can do. I've got my images and my type. Okay, so let me see. What am I going to put my type? I want to put my type there, and then let's put my, let's put my, my subhead, my subtext over there, and then maybe we'll put an image here, and then we'll put one here, and then we'll put one over here. Okay, now look at the difference between, okay, as opposed to using the grid. Sorry. And let's use this grid to margin. But look at the difference between these two pages when we go to preview mode. Okay, one is really, com uh, it, it's compact, it's easy to navigate, it's easy to read, it's easy to follow. You've really only got four visual stopping points, maybe even three, one, two, three, because those are grouped. Here, you, the, the designer doesn't know where you want to go. Okay, this is out of alignment. You've got this offset, but it's not, there's no mathematics behind it, so it just kind of looks randomly placed. Images don't really have a formula, so this page Again, same information, but this page has one, two, three, four, five visual stops, plus the, um, the uncomfortable visual tension created by this, this ambiguous um, negative space. Okay, note here, three visual stops and this wonderful negative space created by uh, controlling the negative space. Okay, so that's what I got, guys, and that's how you would set up and use your grid for your final presentations. All right, any questions, please let me know. Thanks, everyone.